he says um, Christian missionary perform miracles by healing in the stage is it true or false if it is true how do they do it hallelujah brother <laughs> For my first miracle today, <laughs> you know, I want to be serious with you about this. Muslims also believe in miracles, very much so. We believe in miracles happening around us every day, without doubt. We consider a human being to be one of the miracles of Almighty Allah. Allah says in the Quran, "Lakhar khalatnul insan fi asani taqwim." It's clear in the Quran that Allah tells us that we're one of the miracles that He created. And He blew life. He blew life into Adam. And He gives every one of us life. And He gives us breath. And He gives us a brain. And He gives us opportunity to know up from down, right from left. And also to know when it's raining and somebody's pouring water on your boots. I had to change that a little bit. But anyhow, yeah, there are a lot of guys that do stuff for show and dough. All right? And remember, I used to know these guys personally. I used to travel with one of them. And I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want to know the things they do after they walk off the stage. And you don't want to know all the people that they pay off to pull all their little tricks. And a lot of people are highly emotional and giving in to this kind of stuff. You see them come in in a wheelchair. Well, I'll tell you what, I came here in a wheelchair myself in the airport. And when I go in airports, many times I use the wheelchair to transport from one side to the other. And when I do tawaf around the Kaaba, I always use the wheelchair. And whenever it's all over with, you can take a camera and show, here's a guy going around the Kaaba, going around, look at that, in the wheelchair, and suddenly I get up and walk out. Hallelujah, a miracle! I forgot to tell you, I could walk when I sat down. <laughs> the other thing they'll do is tell you somebody has you know, a tumor or a cancer. That's one of their famous ones that they love to take. Somebody's got a tumor or a cancer. Somebody right over in here. Somebody right over here. I, I know you got a pain. Well, all of us got pains. We eat this, if you eat this hot food in India, you're going to have lots of pains. Yeah? And get you up on the stage and you're all like nervous and everything anyway. And you're going to be healed in the name of whoever. And then what? They knock you down to the floor. You get up and you're like, oh man, I better say I'm okay. So they don't hit me again. Yeah, I know about this stuff. And if you want to buy into that, if you consider that a miracle, let me share with you a real miracle. And I want you to think about this. Let's take any 10 people from right here that are all from this city here in Chennai. Any 10. You choose them and line them up here on the stage and then read two paragraphs of some made-up poetry, anything you know that you made up that they never heard before, two paragraphs, and just... Recite it to this one, and then let him whisper it to the next one, and then he'll whisper it to the next one, and the next one till you get down to the number 10. Will it be anything like the original, yes or no? Are you sure? Yeah, you're right. It will not be anything like it. We used to play that game when we were kids. We called it telephone. Do you ever play that game? It's a lot of fun. Now I'm going to ask you. We talked about 10 people all living today in the same place with the same language, with the same dialect. And we only talked about 10. And I'm going to ask you, what are the chances that somebody speaking Arabia, the Arabic language, living 1,400 years ago in the desert could recite 6,200 and 37 verses, all in Arabic, and have it exactly memorized and passed down for 30 generations without a single loss of a single word or even a vowel marker or even a dot. It's impossible, except if it came from Allah. And by the way, no matter what I say, doesn't really matter. What matters is what he said. He said. He said he'll protect it. He'll protect that until the sun rises from the place where it sets. Uh, which way did it come up today, guys? In the east? Cool stuff.